Hello hackers! Welcome to my new video where we are going to hack the course vulnerability with the trusted insecure protocols. This lab is vulnerable to all insecure course configuration that trusts all the subdomain. And to solve the lab, all what we have to do is to create a malicious JavaScript code that uses a course to retrieve the administration API key. And actually, this lab has two different vulnerabilities, so we are going to use both of them to make our attack. Okay guys, let's start. And here we go guys, so first let's activate Foxy Proxy. I'm using Community Edition, let's go to Proxy, enter spec twice, and go to HTTP history. So the first step, I'm going to map the application and try to find the XSS vulnerability before moving to find the course vulnerability. So let me go to the first item and then view details. And here we go, now let me scroll down. So in here I have a function called checks talk. Let me click on it. And now as you can see, now we have this new page. Let me make it more bigger so you can see. And you can see that we have a stock level and then we have 860 and we have this endpoint of product ID equal one and store ID equal one. When you see this endpoint and you are familiar with the different type of vulnerabilities like XSS, so the first thing will coming on your mind that you have to test XSS vulnerability. So let me close this window because I don't need it anymore. And let me go to this endpoint. Here we go. Let me close enter Spectre and let me try to send it to repeater. Here we go. Now let me go to repeater. And let me try to send the request again. And here we go. Now, as you can see in here, we have value in here. So let me try to change one of these values and find if it's possible to make XSS attack. So let me try the first one. I'm going to use H1. Here we go. Now let me say Popo and let me close the H1. And let me copy it and change it in here. And let me say in here hack and see which one of them is vulnerable. And here we go. Now you can see that this value is absolutely insert as HTML code. And this is absolutely XSS vulnerability. So the confirmation in here that the store ID is not vulnerable. So I can just put one in here just to make it more short. And this is vulnerable because we have this product ID. And in here we have this error called invalid product ID. And let me show you it in the real life. And here we go. Now you can see that I have a title called Popo. So definitely in here, I can make my JavaScript code related to this vulnerability. So this is the first vulnerability I found in here. So let me rename it. I'm going to call it XSS. And now I'm going to find if this lab is vulnerable to the course configuration, so I can make a combined attack between two of them. But before going in there, let me show you something in here. You can see that this is, call it stock dot, and then we have this DNS. So this is absolutely subdomain. So what does that mean? That means I'm going to search for a course misconfiguration related to the subdomain. So now let me go to connect as a winner, Peter. So let me go to my account. Here we go. I'm going to use winner and password of Peter. And here we go. I don't need to save this information. And here we go. So this is my target is going to be my API key. So let me find the endpoint responsible to give me this information. Let me go to my proxy. And here we go. So this is not my account ID, but this is call it account details. And here we go. So this is the endpoint. Let me send it to repeater. Here we go. Now let me close enter Spectre and let me send again. So in here, the first thing I can see that we have access control allow credentials equal to true. And this is the first sign for me that this endpoint can be vulnerable to the course origin. So let me add a new header. So let's say origin 
and let me say poopoo.com. So this is a basic endpoint. And here we go. Now in the response, I don't see if it's a load or not. So let me try to add HTTP two point and double slash. Still not able to allow my origin. So let me try null. And here we go. Now this is not. But in here, as you can recognize, we found a subdomain over here. So let me try to see if this subdomain is vulnerable or not. So let me copy it from XSS. Here we go. Now let me back in here and let me paste it. And let me send and see. And as you can see, it's still not vulnerable. But let me try to add HTTP two point double slash and check again. And here we go. And now it's absolutely vulnerable to the course misconfiguration and exactly in a subdomain. So let me try to change the stock for something else. Let me say popo in here. And let me send. And here we go. Now I still able to see the low origin for this subdomain. So in here in the backend, I can assume that there is a filter just to check this string if the DNS exists from the point to the net, but doesn't check which is the subdomain and verify is this subdomain exists or not. And as you can see in here, it's vulnerable because absolutely there isn't something called it popo as a subdomain. So in here, we find the second vulnerability. So let me rename it to the course. And here we go. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a merge between these two vulnerabilities. So let me show you how. So let me go to my VS code. Here we go. Let me close this one and let me create a new HTML file. So I'm going to call it index.html. And here we go. Now let me close this one and let me start. So let's say HTML5. So let me create a title and say hello popo. So in real life, as I always say, when you want to create a vulnerable web page, you should make it very realistic and contains real content. But in the backend, it will be running your malicious code. So now let me open script tag and here we go. So in here, I'm going to start to create malicious code related to the course. Then I will create the other one related to the XSS. And I will show you how. So let's start, let's say const request equal to the new XML HTTP request. And here we go. So guys, if you're not familiar with what I'm doing in here, please watch my first video of this series. So we will be absolutely understand about this code. So now let's say request, then open. And here we go. So the first parameter is gonna be get, let's say get. And then I'm going to use the endpoint. So this is HTTPS two point. Then I'm going to copy this host, this URL, and I need this endpoint. So I'm going to copy it from here. And here we go. And the third parameter is going to be true. Here we go. Now we do have a request on load. So this is absolutely the function we run whenever the administrator open this page and then we do have request call it with credentials so we need to use this attribute called with credentials because as you can see in here we have access control low credentials equal to true so i need to add it and here we have to write true and then we have to send the request so request dot send and here we go now i'm almost there so let us assume that this website is absolutely on the internet and hosting on my host. So this request will be back me this information of the administrator and I need to show it on the console. And to do this, I need to write it on the console and let me show you how. So let me back to the lab. Here we go. Let me open the exploit server. Here we go. And I'm going to show the content on the loot in this access log. So let me show you for it. Let me open it. And here we go. Now you can see that we have a log in here. And to do this with this method, I need to use my exploit server URL. So let me show you how. Let me copy this thing. And let me go in here. Here we go. 
Now we have this slash exploit. Let me add a value in here, let's say. So let's say key and let me say popo in here and let me send. And here we go. Now it's back me hello world. So this is absolutely what we have in here. And let me show you the console now. And here we go. Now you can see that I have this exploit question mark key equal popo. So let me close it in here. I don't need it. And let me back to my server and let me back to my code. Here we go. And how I'm going to use this endpoint. First, I'm going to use a window, then location. And in here, I'm going to send this endpoint. Here we go, equal to exploit, then question mark. And I'm going to call it a key equal. And I'm going to add this credentials in here. And this is absolutely back in my response. So let me say request dot response text. This is because I'm going to read it as a URL because the response in my request is absolutely JSON format. And as you can see in here, I'm using a string. So I need to convert it. And to convert this, we do have a default attribute called response text. And here we go. And now I'm almost ready and finish it the course attack. And now let me include this course attack into the XSS attack. So let me go to XSS in here. Here we go. Now let me create another script tag. And in this time, I'm going to call this endpoint and replace the product ID value with the script. And let me show you how. So first, let's say window location. And I'm going to use HTTP, not HTTPS. Then two point double slash. Let me copy this subdomain. Here we go. And then let me copy this one. And here we go. And now I need to replace this value. So let me delete it. And let me copy this string. Cut this string and replace it in here. So as you can see, this is a string. I cannot just cut it and paste it like this. So in case that this is a URL, I cannot just use it like this. So I need to encode it. And in case that this is a location, so it's going to fire a request and this string, it's going to be a URL. So I'm going to encode it to the URL form. So let me go to the decoder. Let me paste my code in here and let me go to encode and I'm going to use a URL. And here we go. Now let me select all of it. Let me say control A, control C, and let me paste it over here. So now I'm ready for the attack. So let me select all of it. Here we go. Let me go to my exploit server and let me paste it in here and let me store first. And then let me deliver it to my victim. And now let me see my access log. Here we go. Now the administrator opened the link and we have this endpoint slash exploit question mark key and included the credential, the sensitive data. So let me copy all of it in here. And here we go. Now let me copy it. Let me go to the decoder and paste it in here. And in case that this is a URL encoded, let me decode it to the URL. And here we go. Now you can see that we have a username called administrator and this is the IP key. So let me copy it. Let me say control C. So and now let me back to the lab, go to the submit solution and let me paste it in here and say, okay. And here we go guys. Now we finally saw the lab. I hope that you learned how to merge two different vulnerabilities to make a successful attack. So guys, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any question or any comment, put it in the comment below. Don't forget to like the video and stay tuned for the next videos. Bye.